Welcome back, guys. Today we'll be going over the miniature flask project that I've that I've con that I've come up with. And when I was coming up with this project, I thought I would just go ahead and create, you know, package inst or pip install flask, put this application here, and then run flask with it. However, that's not always the case. Uh, I ran into a quite a big snafu: is that flask doesn't run in daemon mode. There is no daemon mode for it, at least not yet. And the best way to get around it is if you use something like G-Unicorn or Supervisor or both, and I'm just going to use Supervisor uh, to, to run Flask. So then I have to go ahead and make sure that Supervisor is installed with its dependencies and so on, and then make sure that Flask is able to install. And then you run into even further issues. It's like I've got a old python 2.6 in in uh in my vm my kitchen vm and make sure as i have to make sure it all works there and so on and those are some of the pains of this job is that legacy products can be very very or legacy applications can be very very difficult to work with but it's part of the job you can't just upgrade willy-nilly um whenever you want to so that's um that gets that begins to be a problem. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is create the supervisor state. So let's go ahead and create a new folder named supervisor. And in supervisor, we'll create an init.sls. So I know according to my slideshow, I need to go ahead and do these as yum dependencies. So Python setup tools and Python pip. So yum dependencies. I want to go and change my actually. Let me change my um, syntax to state. So yum deps is package dot installed. Packages. Python setup tools and Python pip. Make sure that's installed. Okay. Then I've got upgrade pip with pip. So get that installed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a upgrade to true. That will go ahead and upgrade it. And we'll also force the reinstall just in case. Actually, this one, we're just upgrading it. It's, we don't have to force the reinstall. It's not a problem. Um, all right. So then actually, we're doing that in the next step anyway. So install and upgrade supervisor pip distribute and sorry, and distribute. So uh these are pip dependencies or actually these are uh supervisor packages uh pip installed packages this is supervisor and i've got pip and distribute listed here the capitalized D and distribute is important. And here I am uh, force reinstall true and upgrade true. And I'm going to go ahead and require the upgrade pip module to be called first make sure that gets passed through even though it's above it all uh, right okay so that has uh install supervisor so that should technically take care of the state but i ran on my pre-setup i ran into an issue with the setup tools uh package and it can't be added onto the supervisor packages list so i need to add it on as, as, as on its own because for some reason um the package dependency link breaks and then supervisor will break if I add set of tools in there. So I need to have it done after uh, all of the packages have been installed and upgraded. So um, 
setup tools upgrade actually oh, let me name that upgrade setup tools we technically already install setup tools and python setup tools here but this one is very old and it needs to be upgraded so before we even um before we install F flask um so pip that install packages setup tools and this is upgrade true and it's capital T force reinstall true. All right, let me make sure I've got my syntax correct in my pip page here. So pip installed. Yep. Okay. So install salt. Okay. You can still do the packages and so on. Should be. Yeah. See packages as part of a comma separated list of packages. Awesome. So that should go ahead and install supervisor. Uh, I'll name this init.sls. And then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and um, test this on our VM to make sure supervisor works. Now, normally, um, actually, uh, what we're going to do is that normally we will, we can add supervisor to the, to the Apache or so the, to the web instances. But since supervisor is required by Flask, what we're going to do is that we're going to create another state called Flask and include supervisor into that particular state rather than having it here in the top.sls. So we don't want to declare it twice, um, but we want to make sure that supervisor gets installed before Flask. So even if we have it in after, or even if we have it in the correct order here, we want to make sure that it gets installed before. So that way uh, we don't want to do it twice and we make sure they're in the run, run in the correct order if we add as an include statement in the flask state when we create that next. Um, so let's go ahead and here, let's destroy everything. Okay, so now let's do kitchen converge. Okay, so this is going to take a while. Um, it's got to go ahead and recreate the VM, install salt, and run the high state, uh, which includes the users as well as the Apache state. Um, so it's going to take a little bit, and I'll go ahead and pause right now and come back to you guys in a little bit. Now, my uh, high state completed, but it did not complete without errors. So we said that forced reinstall, that actually isn't correct. It's actually forced underscore reinstall. So we need to go ahead and, and fix that. But um, I should point this out. Some people, it's installed as a community driven project mostly. Some people will ignore um, unverified or un, uh, unknown attributes and still perform the, the default task, which in this case was to install the packages. Uh, others will not. So like sometimes when you have an invalid attribute, it'll just completely crash and just be all in red where this guy or whoever created this pip installed module, he ignored any, uh, any parameters that were not uh, valid. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go back to our init.sls for supervisor and wherever we passed force reinstall, make sure we change that to uh, force underscore reinstall, not force hyphen reinstall. All right, so, and actually, let's do a little bit more require statements. So here, before we upgrade pip, we wanna make sure that the yum dependencies, because that's where pip gets installed, that one uh, executes before it. Technically, it didn't, I didn't have any issues with that on, uh, as far as the ordering goes, but I want to make sure. I want to be absolutely certain. So, pkg umdeps, make sure that gets kicked off. And this is going to require an upgrade pip. And this, uh, this doesn't matter when this gets installed. As long as it's not in pair with these, it's fine. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just do another converge. This should be quick because it's already built the VM and everything else is already in place. 
So I've got my setup tools, my Python upgrade pip, this install supervisor, yum, depths, and so on. Okay, so these should be reinstalled. And yeah, see, it's actually being upgraded twice. I don't know why I did that, but it can happen. So I actually probably don't even need this because this is already upgrading pip but it needs to upgrade it before a supervisor installs, so I guess that's probably why. So I wouldn't need this here. Anyways, uh, regardless, it should complete pretty soon. Oh, it looks like we ran into an error. Ah, this is, this is the error that I was running into. It says, upgrade setup tools, and then it finally install it. So now if I run it again, it's gonna go ahead and actually work. However, that's not a solution, so what I would rather do is I would rather have this be up here. As well. So that way we will actually need to force reinstall true as well. So the setup tools, it, it's a pain in the butt because it, it shouldn't be breaking like that, but it is. I don't, I'm not sure why. It, even if it gets installed, for some reason, Supervisor and Flask has trouble with it in Python 2.6. So you have to install it multiple times sometimes just to get it working properly. So we install it the first time, fine, and then we install um, we installed it afterwards, or we upgraded it afterwards. But as soon as we upgraded and reran re this convergence, Supervisor failed to find setup tools uh, and go from there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that it gets installed uh, before with upgrade pip and rename this to upgrade pip and setup tools and make sure that it gets installed there and that should do it. Let's go ahead and hope this works. This should be again, this should be fairly quick. Ah, it says require upgrade pip. Upgrade pip is no longer. So this is the problem with require statements. Anyways, it would have worked, but this is the problem with require statements. The if you were to re, if you na renamed it here, you have to rename it here. And that's why you do quite a bit of testing. It's it's best to stay away from require statements, um, but it's also good to make sure that everything is in order. So, in cases like these where you have dependency issues, um, where you have to make sure that these packages are installed before a certain other package, and it must be in that order, you it's best to use require statements. But in other cases where you're just like laying down you're laying down files that's not related to the application that's going to be running or even if it's like just briefly not even it's it's related but not completely related does it's not required um, then probably best not to use require statements and avoid it because you create a dependency hell if you keep going with require statements everywhere okay so as i said it worked uh, so now we added it here it got up out of the setup tools there and I install the same version here. We probably don't need this one anymore, but I'm going to keep it because I've had so much trouble with setup tools package, especially in this Python 2.6. And so I'm just going to leave it there and, and keep it. Okay, so on the next video, I'm going to go ahead and create the Flask state, which is going to include this state. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the supervisor from the top.sls because I don't want it here. I only want it when Flask get installed. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create the Flask state, include the supervisor state, make sure that's running, then it'll install Flask, and then we'll go ahead and deploy our app for Flask uh, using and run it using supervisor. So I hope to see you guys then, bye.